Are you having a good time? Yes. Today we have a little talk about respect and obedience. They go together. They are like best friends. How many of you have a best friend here? Very good. Yes, respect is the best friend of all. Obedience. Drop your before you can respect somebody, you must obey the person. And how do you obey? How do you obey? Hmm? You don't know? Okay, now I remember you. For you to obey someone, for example, if you are sent, if your mom calls you, Amira, come here, go to the kitchen and get me the black rubber. Don't tell your mom. No, I'm not going, I'm tired. Or you say, Don't you give me some sweets? I know most of you love sweets, right? Yes. Okay. So that's the sign of what? Obedience and also what? Respect. Because your mom is older than you and she, most importantly, she's your mother. So you have to respect her. It is good to respect our parents. Very good. We learn things in our days, right? And you talk more, maybe more about how to show respect and obedience. Good afternoon, once again. Good afternoon, once again. All right. Abu has talked about respect and obedience. So I'll be talking about the ways of showing respect. And today I'll be talking about one of the ways of showing respect. One of the ways of showing respect to your parents or your elderly one is greeting. What do I say? How many of you used to greet your parents at home? Oh, you all used to greet your parents at home. Clap for yourself then. Alright, thank you. I go up to you of showing respect to your parents and your elderly one, not just your parents. When you wake up in the morning, you will tell your parents, good morning, ma'am, good morning, sir. Don't just wake up and say, ah, oh, see, so no. Kneel down and say, good morning, ma'am, good morning, sir. And when you come to school, also greet your teacher, okay? Alright, so next time we talk about more ways of showing. Right, right. All right, I'm going to pass it to the process again. I'm going to pass it to the process again.